welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Emani and I'm currently near an area near White House here in Nakuru. Now, right behind me is the KIT or Kitty, which is the Kenya Industrial Training Institute. And this is definitely an institute that plays an integral part in training the people of the society here in Kenya. Now you will find courses such as electrical engineering, carpentry, carpentry. you will have um, different clothes making courses and information technology and different things like that. Now many people in Kenya are, are employed but you also have people who are self-employed and having these skills is very important for them to expand their business. So I'll begin my walk from the institute here and just explore the surrounding areas. So if you're new to the channel, do consider liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Karibuni sana Jamhuri ya Kenya, Karibuni sana Nakuru. So we'll be beginning the walk here and be walking towards White House and heading towards May, maybe near section 58 and other areas here in Nakuru real nice vibe and from here actually as we walk closer you'll realize that at some point you do get the opportunity where you can actually see the lake nakuru really nice view it's a bit cloudy today but the temperature is around 26 degrees celsius and the time now it's 4 13 pm in the afternoon here so It's been a good vibe so far. So a lot of people actually live in this area. And you have people that do business in this area. There's various shops, gas station or petrol station. Some people say that you will find here. And like I was showing you before, there was a college that we've just seen there. training industrial training institute so these are some of the things you'll see here in uh, Nakuru and this area here in White House and also Mwanga is also nearby and you can see you may see many school children in the videos many young people have just finished school So people are, children are going home now. So yeah, it's a really good vibe. I'm super excited to do this walk today. It's long overdue. And um, in the previous episode, we toured Nakuru City. And today we're deep in the neighborhoods here in Nakuru. I don't think this parts have been filmed before so you're actually getting an exclusive so to my left here there's a little business here they make gravestones and things like that so these are some of the business you'll see even close to the side of the road sometimes people put there items that they make so while you're driving past you can see what the business is about this is a school bus you'll see many of them here in nakuru and throughout kenya and uh for the most part most of the school bus they follow that color which is yellow yellow color
So around this time, it's very busy in Akuru to be honest with you. Of course, a lot of people are finishing work. Colleges are finishing now. So you get a lot of build-up of traffic as well. So we're coming up to, of course, like White House. And in this area here, you will have a string of different businesses. There's also Blue Bay Hotel. And that's that blue building you can see on the right. Now, really nice place, actually. You could get a room starting for as low as 1,500 Tanzanian shilling, um, Kenyan shilling, sorry. And it's very near very near town which is good if you want to go to town and it'll cost you around 50 kenyan shillings to get to town from here if you were to take the the taxi with other passengers and you have the local border boat well matatus they call it and then you have the border border which is the motorcycle taxi So here you can buy local, locally made beds and they do all the furniture as well. You see a lot of that when you travel throughout various areas here in Nakuru. So, so that car you just saw, that's someone selling potatoes from their car. A lot of people do businesses like that where they sell farm produce in the back of the boot of their car and earn a living like that. Some do it as a part-time hustle. Some people, they may do it full-time. So what we just passed there, that was some of the makeshift um, market here. And you will find different um, produce from potatoes, tomatoes, lettuce, spinach, and different things like that, that people use in their everyday cooking here in the city. So for some people, if they, if they can't make it to 
all the way to town they can make use of the these local um, mini markets in in the area and you will find them dotted around various communities here in Nakuru I really like these trees when you're walking towards um, say section 58 here in Nakuru really lovely the trees are on both sides and you can see the purple flowers on them are now are now beginning to blossom i'm not sure if they're there i'm not sure the name of the, of the tree but if you know leave a comment in the comment section below so we just passed the white house area there and I mean this area here you will find a mixed bunch of people you will find of course working class people even middle class people middle class people in terms of the Kenyan standards of the, the uh, uh, in Kenyan standards um, you will also in some, in some areas you will find also lower income earners so it's a mi mixed group of people that lives here but it's still in my opinion a very good location if you're in Nakuru because it's it's very near to town like I was saying and if you're doing business between you know here and town it's town is very much accessible and easy to get to So to my left here is the Upper, Upper Hill Mix Secondary School here in Nakuru. Now here in Kenya you get a, a mixture of both. You have what you call day, day school and you have like boarding. So some schools here in Nakuru, secondary and even primary, you'll find some students will actually live on campus. And while you'll have some students who just live perhaps in the area, surrounding areas, and they'll go home while others will stay on. So it's a very popular feature here in the education uh, system here in Kenya. So this is the Nakuru High School. It's one of the high performing high schools here in um, Nakuru.
So you see a lot of people doing business. At the junction there, they're selling roast corn, they're selling drinks, different things like that. So literally at that junction, you can get buses that will take you to town. To town. You will get buses that can take you to Lanet. You can get buses that will take you back to where we just came from. White House and different places like that. So we're walking towards an area called Section 58. 58 is one of, for the most part, it's considered one of the nice places to live in Nakuru. You got a mixed bunch of people living here from all backgrounds, even people from Indian Kenyans, you'll even people you'll get South Sudanese, different people from all walks of life live in here and from other parts of Kenya as well. Section 5A is definitely a very big neighborhood, but this is just one section of Section 5A, and a lot of people do like it because especially in the distance where we're walking towards right now, you're actually seeing Lake Nakuru. So imagine living next to a place when you wake up in the morning, you can see the lake. So a lot of, some people really do appreciate that. and. Um, you even have people from uh, South, a lot of South Sudanese live this section as well. Now this is a St. Monica Catholic Church. Um, you'll find a lot of people who follow the Christian faith living in uh, up country. These areas are considered up country in comparison to the coastal side of Kenya where you will find predominantly more Muslim and that's Mombasa, Melindi, Lamu, that region there. This section here, you, up country, Nakuru, Kisumu, Eldoret, mainly Christian, but you do also have um, Muslims and other people from other faiths that live here. But in terms of the majority, it will be mainly Christian. So it's really green in this neighborhood. You can see lots of trees. The roads are paved quite well. Um, a lot of people's properties are well fenced around, which is great for some people. I guess it's a deterrence and a security um, protocol to take to protect what belongs to you, I guess.
section 5-8. Yeah, man, it's really nice. This is to be considered more of a upper middle class neighborhood. Really nice planning here. Outside the homes, you find these. Lovely plant fencing and stuff like that. So that's really nice, man. This is section 5A. So section 5A and really money where we're where we gonna go perhaps another time are some of the more, what we say, the more upscale areas to live in Nakuru. Milimani is definitely, no, I'll guess, be number one. You get a lot of affluent people, politicians, business people, and stuff like that live in Milimani. And you also find that here in Section 5-8. So I'm just giving you a, just a basic tour of, of the area, really. Um, it's by no means a full tour of Section 5-8. There's different sections to it. But so far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. So you know when you're in Kenya, when you see these styles of uh, apartment, this is like an apartment block, okay? And um, you get different people living here. And generally speaking, for a month per month in an apartment block like that, you're looking to pay around 20,000 20, uh, Kenyan shillings per month and something like this in this area here So yeah, I'm currently outside the main shopping area here in section 5A. They have the shopping center and you'll find different shopping places where you can buy fruits and vegetables here. So I'm gonna end it here today, guys. We did a tour of the place. You got an insight into how White House look. We started from Kitty up there, the Kenya Industrial Training Place. And then we walked all the way down to section 5A here in Nakuru City. I do appreciate your time for always coming back and watching my videos. My name is Wemba Imani and thank you for watching Inspire for Travel. Do remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Karibu Sana, Jamhuri Kenya.